Imagine a world locked in the icy grip of the Pleistocene epoch, a time when giants walked the earth. Mammoths, mastodons, and ground sloths, creatures of immense size and power, dominated the landscape. But even among these titans, one predator stood out, a creature as iconic as it was fearsome, Smilodon, also known as the saber-toothed tiger. The saber-toothed tiger was a marvel of specialized evolution. Its most striking feature, those enormous canine teeth, could reach over seven inches in length, the longest of any known feline. These were not merely for display. They were precision instruments of death. Unlike modern cats that rely on suffocation, the saber-toothed tiger's killing technique was a swift, precise bite to the neck, severing major arteries and causing rapid blood loss. Its skull and jaw were perfectly adapted for this purpose. The powerful jaw muscles, combined with the wide gape, generated immense force, driving those formidable canines deep into its prey. The saber-toothed tiger was a master of ambush. Its powerful build, not designed for sustained speed, was perfect for short bursts of power and grappling with large prey. Once it had its prey pinned down, those fearsome canines delivered the fatal blow. While solitary hunters were likely common, fossil evidence suggests that the saber-toothed tiger may have also lived in social groups, much like lions today. This cooperative behavior would have allowed them to take down even larger prey, like mammoths and giant ground sloths, and to defend their kills from scavengers like dire wolves. Life in the Pleistocene was a constant struggle for survival. The saber-toothed tiger shared its world with other formidable predators, like the dire wolf, often leading to fierce competition for food and territory. And then there were the newcomers, early humans, who were gradually becoming a force to be reckoned with. These awe-inspiring creatures left their mark not only on the fossil record, but also on the walls of caves, where their image was captured in primitive art, a testament to their impact on the human psyche. The relationship between humans and the saber-toothed tiger was complex, a mix of fear, respect, and perhaps even competition. The La Brea tar pits in Los Angeles have become a treasure trove of saber-toothed tiger remains. These natural asphalt seeps trapped countless animals over millennia, providing a unique window into Pleistocene life including the predators and prey that inhabited this ancient ecosystem. Analysis of fossil bones bearing the saber-toothed tiger's distinctive bite marks provides valuable insights into their hunting techniques. They often targeted the throat or the underside of their prey, aiming for areas rich in blood vessels to ensure a quick and efficient kill. Their powerful bite could crush bone and sever arteries, bringing down even the largest prey but even apex predators are not immune to the forces of change. As the Pleistocene epoch drew to a close, the climate warmed, and the megafauna upon which the saber-toothed tiger depended began to vanish. Their specialized hunting style, so effective against large prey, became a liability in a world of smaller, more agile animals. The decline of megafauna wasn't the only challenge. Competition with newly arrived predators, like early humans, and the potential impact of diseases may have also contributed to their demise. The saber-toothed tiger, once the king of the beasts, was now struggling to survive in a changing world. Unable to adapt to the new reality, the saber-toothed tiger's reign eventually came to an end. The last of these magnificent creatures disappeared around 10,000 years ago, leaving behind a legacy etched in bone and tar, a testament to a bygone era of giants. The story of the saber-toothed tiger is a poignant reminder of the ever-changing nature of our planet and the delicate balance between life, death and extinction. Though the saber-tooth is gone, its story continues to fascinate and inspire, urging us to understand the past and protect the future.